So imagine now that you're married and you've got your spouse and you've got your family members. Allah says, because I put them around you, I want you to be kind to them. And if you are kind to them, then you will definitely pass your test with flying colors. Now do you see why it's so important? Someone's daughter came into your life, subhanAllah. She also has parents. She also has family. She also have peop has people who loves her. She gave up a lot to come to you, subhanAllah. And all you do is you're WhatsApping another woman, promising her that I'll marry you, I'll be happy. And she doesn't even know that you're already married and you're not even getting, she doesn't even know your spouse is waiting for you to even look at her and to cross with your eyes so that she can wink at you. No, subhanAllah. That deception, if it is in our lives, we will never be happy. So cut it out. Don't deceive. Don't let sin make you comfortable. Don't ever become comfortable with sin. Because once you become comfortable with sin, your happiness is snatched away. Gone. And gone for a long, long time. Before you can make that U-turn, you, you would need to cross 20 miles and then come back. By that time, you're already late. May Allah forgive us. When people become comfortable sinning, when people become comfortable sinning, subhanallah, they will never make their spouses happy. But if you are together going to worship Allah, then definitely you will make each other happy. Because you realize if a smile is a charity on the face of a stranger, what about my wife? What about my husband? What about a kind word? Don't raise your voice with your spouses. Just like you shouldn't be raising your voices with your parents. The problem with us is we scream and yell and swear and hurl abusive words at our spouses thinking that I can get away with it. Not realizing Allah is hearing all of this and you will pay a heavy price for this. You cannot make one person happy and you are trying to make the whole world happy. It does happen. A lot of the guys I speak to and they come and complain and say things here and there. And you know what they complain and I say my brother you know if you take a careful look you can't even please one person and it's not like they're being difficult it's simple dedicate yourself where do you spend your free time how much of it do you allocate to your spouse what about your expressions on your face you don't come home we know you're tired but you don't come home and just say get me the food do this for me do that for me why Come home, enter with a smile and you shall be received with an even broader smile. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. May Allah open our doors. My